Welcome to the Monday, June 8, 2018 meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let members and staff introduce themselves. Hannah Smith. Liz Pritchett. Stephen Everett. Meredith Crandall, staff. Hi, Eric Gilbertson. Benjamin Cheney. We are advisory to the Development Review Board. We will listen to each of the applications and move them forward. And if nobody has any other questions or suggestions, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? Yeah, I'd like to add under other business that I want to report on the Historic Preservation Commission um, work on the new design review regs. Okay. It's going forward, not as fast as we might like. Oh. Well, progress is good. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, I'd move approval. Okay, do I hear a second? A second. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. And we can move to the first application for 17 Court Street. Court Street Associates, Yana Walder. That must be you. We're signed. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, tell us about your application. So we've got um, three buildings on two parcels that are part of the same kind of property complex. And better signage for um, an entrance sign to direct people to the parking lot and then each building is going to get a directory uh, with tenant names on it. Are they split up? Do, uh, do you need a copy of that? Um, sure. I actually gave all of my application away. I didn't even make a copy of myself. So they uh, had me split up the two applications even though it was all it's all the same project. But because they're two different parcels, that's why like some are crossed out. I think they split parcels. it up between 17 and, and then 19, yeah. and, then 19 okay. and 21. So we'll start with 17. So for 17, we just have the new wall directory sign. Mm -hmm. So the ones in blue is, is the final. Uh, we first went with a kind of a black, which was what the colors that were on originally, but I think that we want to just change up a little bit the colors. So it'll be blue. Yep. Mm -hmm. blue and white. Do you have a color chip for the... I don't. I don't either. Is it a dark blue? Um, it's in Lake Point colors. It's like a baby blue color. Lighter than this. I, and it's not a paint, it's a composite, so it will be, you know, just it's like the coating is a certain color, but they don't have a color for it. Okay. So it's blue, white background, black letters? Yep. Okay. This is the placement on the building. The what? This is the accurate placement on the building. Yes. For the door. Yep. My only suggestion just for readability is the darker it is, the more contrast you're going to get between the white and the blue. If the baby blue is too light, then you won't be able to it's going to fade in, the white's going to fade into the baby blue. So again, for readability, the darker it is, the better, the better, right. the and better it really reads. attached to the colors, you know, it's a new project, so. And again, that's just a matter of, I've had experience with contrast and the more contrast you have the better it reads. That's probably why there were black and white originally. <laughs> well, the black and white's good but the <laughs> contrast for the 17 Court Street against the blue. So consider that when you're picking your blue. Sounds good. Any other questions, comments, suggestions? Size is okay? Yes. So I will go down through. I'll have to do this for 17, then again for 1921. Uh, there's a set of standards, design review standards, and I'll just read down through them. Number one, a preservation reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure, acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, not proposed in this application. 
Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. Is there any lighting on the sign other than ambient from the porch? No. Okay. So that'll be not applicable here. Recognition of and respect for view corridors and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. Conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations, acceptable. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent properties, acceptable. Shall not obscure significant architectural details, acceptable. Consistency and uniformity of multiple signs in CB2 and OP districts, not applicable. Illumination, not applicable. Pennants and banners, not applicable. Individual letters affixed, painted, or engraved directly on the building or structure are encouraged. The sign is acceptable. And again, the only, I'm just for optional changes, I'm just going to say applicant may select darker blue. Again, this is your option. Mm -hmm. Darker blue background color or Again, that's your option. You can select a darker blue than what you're showing here if you choose that for better contrast and readability. All in favor of the application as proposed, raise your hand. sign right here above my name. You have a pen? I don't. There you go. Okay, the next application is for 19 and 21 Court Street. And this is for the ground sign and three wall directory signs. in front of the building is black and white? Uh, no, it will be blue. It's like the okay. same colors. Same, same color? Colors, yeah. Well, I saw the note blue, but it picture showing black, so I just wanted to make sure. Is it blue trim on this building? Uh, it's dark green. Dark yeah. green? Yeah, the, the printout is just the colors are all off. On the, on uh -huh. the over okay. Here. It's dark green trim. So again, all these signs are blue as well? Yes. Yep. Again, I was saying, reading this black aluminite aluminum composite down here, so. Oh, yep, sorry. I just wanted to make sure that. How easy or hard is it to change names? For um, the, 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 the company screws, so you just take the name off and put another one on, so it's pretty easy. And do these blank spaces indicate empty offices? Um, yes. <coughs> Looks like you're changing the location of the one at 19 Court Street. Um, 
So uh, there's an existing sign, right, but it's kind of really high up above the, um, kind of under the porch. You can't really see it very well, so we're going to place that, yeah, we're just going to move it to the side of the building. So there'll be two signs that's on this picture that are going to be on two sides of the building, one for 19 Court Street and one for 21 that's in the back. Thank you. Is 21 an, attach an, an attachment to that building? It's a separate building yeah. behind. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you look at the site plan, it's a uh, it on there. So, the site plan. Let's see. It's back in the back. So the one on the side of 19 is the one that's pointing to 21 in the back? Yep, with the names. Right? Okay. Comments, questions, suggestions? Again, think about the readability of the yeah, signs. The definitely. darker color gives you a better contrast. And So again, through the same set of criteria, design review standards, number 1A, pre preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure, acceptable harmony of exterior design with other properties, acceptable compatibility of pro proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district, acceptable compatibility of proposed landscaping, not proposed. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, no lighting on any of the signs, including these uh, freestanding out front, not applicable. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. Conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations, acceptable. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent property is acceptable. Does not obscure significant architectural details. Acceptable. Consistency and uniformity of multiple signs in CP2 and OP districts. Not applicable. Illumination. Not applicable. Pennants and banners. Not applicable. Individual letters affixed, painted, or engraved directly on the building or structure are encouraged. Acceptable. All in favor of the application is proposed. Raise your hand. Well, that's, it depends on the building and the location. Like downtown, somebody, sometimes people put individual letters like in a sign ban. So it says individual letters affixed, painted, or engraved directly on the building or structure are encouraged. Huh. But on, a, on the side of a building where you've got a clapboard building, a sign like you're proposing makes right. more sense. It just It's a matter of what the building looks like, whether it's a sign ban, uh, whether it's downtown or a different neighborhood. I'm not sure it'd be easy to attach individual letters to a building and then you've got a lot of moisture issues at the same time. 
so again, you can sign this one above my name in the middle there. And there's the pen. What? Thank you. I don't have to stay for the other meeting, right? No, you don't have to stay okay. for the other meeting. You can Thank leave. You. Thanks. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Good luck with your project. Next application is for 27 School Street, Key Turner Properties. Wayne's not here, so okay. I'm here. I'm Chris. Okay, Chris Pierce. It's me. And okay. For, for the record, I should probably uh, recuse myself in that I was at one point involved in this project. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and describe your application. Okay, so I'll just go give you the complete history of what happened here. So we started out with this building over a year ago. Um, my client purchased the building and then asked me to go in and change some heat um, and pull up some old carpets and expose the old hardwood floors. And we started doing that, and then we found rotting sills and you know just the typical house in Montpelier that hasn't been maintained or was poorly maintained for 50 plus years. Um, so we found a lot of things and immediately went into repair mode and then that morphed into uh, calling an architect to change some walls and the interior change. Then we did some exterior changes because of the uh, interior changes that happened and kind of missed the ball on the zoning permit. Um, <laughs> so here we are. And, um, so now we're trying to do it the right way. Uh, there is some work that's already been completed. Um, we've tried to do it um, tastefully. Hopefully you find the, the same. Um, there was some siding we had to replace after we, we actually lifted the rear end of the building and put a whole new um, frost wall underneath it. So in doing that, we had to expose the, the, the sills. In doing that, you have to tear off a lot of the lower part of the building. And it had a very unique siding um, and uh, had a has a little contour to the, the clapper. It's beaded at the bottom. Yeah, it's got a little bead on the bottom of it. So we did uh, replace that. I actually milled each one of them to make it match. Um, so I'm trying to do it that way. I, don't, I like to do things the right way. I don't do them uh, half, half. I like to do it all the way. And the couple of things that we are doing is adding, um, that we'd like to add, is a, a couple of modern touches, um, which would be, uh, there's a, a secondary egress that we would like to put in the rear that would be a metal spiral staircase. Um, the reason we want to do that is um, we've gotten approval to add a sixth apartment in the attic, um, and they've given us a uh, um, a pass on putting sprinklers in if we can do a secondary egress, which would be coming out the rear of the building, and that's the spiral staircase that we want to do. Um, and to get to the staircase, we have to add a deck, or a way to get to the staircase it can't just be a walkway, so we decided we should make a, a nice space. Um, it's nothing you can see from the street, but um, you can see it from one of your buildings, actually. Yes, East I've been State. watching the progress Have of this been? thing going on and on and on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> at this point, um, we, we'd like to get bodies in there as soon as possible. So um, I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. I know you probably, probably have some questions, but uh, that's basically the, the job in a nutshell. Um, there are some ads that we would like to do that are on the application, including a solar parking area, which probably realistically won't be done until next year <coughs> if we get to it. Uh, we wanted to jump on that though because of the, the solar credits are up at the end of the month so we've already put in for a um, CPG for that project which doesn't matter much to the town but we do have it in the works. Um, and this stairway that we put in which is a uh, so there was a back part of the building that was had to be removed in order to fix the sills because it was actually built on dirt. Um, the stairway that was in it didn't meet code, and there was no way to actually put a stairway back there without extending it 
beyond the footprint of the building and so within maintaining the footprint of the building we had it there was a, a an actual like a, a shed roof that someone had put on in the past 25 years i assume that wasn't built very well and was falling off and the snow hit and actually took most of it down and that's where we built that that rear staircase you can see in the mm -hmm. um, that actually if you look at the picture of it I would, uh, yeah right so that was within the the shadow of the original building but um, it's now a staircase instead of what was a shed roof uh, and now it's access to that second floor apartment so. And underneath there is where you're thinking about putting the laundry. The laundry, room. yes, which um, was a, a small rotting part of the this deck. I don't know what you call it. It was like a it was a flat landing area with deck type system um, that had that was again built on dirt um, and had to come off to do the um, to do the sill work. Yeah, so it's tucked back underneath the. Yeah, it's underneath. It's it's still on the same exact footprint that was originally there. It's just we want to build it into a laundry room for the tenants' use instead of making it a, a you know, public space or, or a deck space. You're talking about this area here. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. That that's original. That that's just being replaced because it, that again had. I have pictures of when we lifted the building, but that all had to be torn out in order to get under those posts. Um, that we're just rebuilding as the way it was, which was a, a deck. So, well, which hello. Was a, an entry deck. Um, not, I think it's four feet wide by 12 feet long. This is Wynn. Yes, we recognize him from earlier <laughs> <laughs> projects. Oh. The parking, I don't know, parking structure that you're going to yes. put in the back. Does that have a uh, shed roof? Yeah, it would be a, a shed roof. Have you been to the co-op here in Montpelier? Yeah. So we want to build something similar to that. There are, you know, uh, budgetary constraints that may yeah. make it a little less fancy than that, but that's basic idea. It would be a carport type system, and then it would have a solar roof instead of a, a wooden neck or shingle the back or a lot. Yeah. yeah. At the very end of the driveway. Would the laundry room be under here, under this? No, section? actually, it's um, under here, right? Yeah, right. Oh, under exactly. there. You can see where the, the, the siding ends. Uh -huh. That's kind of right where we were. It's pretty small. You can see the little pad, seven feet by eight. Oh yeah, feet. This this right there. It's okay. We already That's poured the right. pad, so it's pretty nice. For the siding, you can see. But this room yeah, under look, the stairs. We look at it. Just a little bump out. Yeah, really so nice. so yeah. the yeah, the building actually bumps out for the upper apartment. Yeah. Above. Enough. Okay. Five feet. I can see that, yeah. yeah. So, but the left of laundry was eight by eight. Seven by eight. Um, so it comes out of a few more, there's a, a space in between where the stairs go okay. up. Okay. And the wall of this, the, the wall of the upper, uh -huh. we would just fill that space in with a, a roof that matched the, the stairway. Um, if you looked at it. So the wall, the wall, the back wall of the little laundry area would be adjacent to that window casing. Yeah, it would be right along that casing. Correct. Yep. It yes. Come out from there, right? Okay. What do you put a coin up in there? Double stack. So we could maybe rent them. I said, I was talking to Will Coglin from Necky, you know, Will the Yes. Neckie. He said you can actually rent them. I didn't know that. They're really expensive. Uh, yes, they are. They <laughs> <laughs> pay for themselves pretty quick. No, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the big deal is saving the whole building. I mean, it was going underground in the back end of the building. I've been touched. Nothing's been touched for 30 years. I've I looked at it. Top oh, you yeah. asked so. I, Yeah, I mean, it was. I, I, uh, in hindsight, I wish. I feel like we're doing like. Anyhow, <laughs> it's been incredible. You know, the extent of just what you don't see, mm -hmm. even just to keep the building. It's stable. amazing that it didn't burn down. It was the yeah. of mod number two. I mean, the whole thing is just extensive. So I'm glad we can get to the details and make it pretty again, but 
Yeah. Yeah. A labor of love. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great anymore. building. Not anymore. It's a great, it's a great <laughs> building. To the finish. It's, it's a great finish. building and it's, it's a nice yeah. lot. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. It is. Yeah, it is pretty easy. Painted as well. I did great. fall in love with the building. I mean, the building itself is pretty easy. Color, I think, has always been either a, a really hated, and then there's a few minority of people, like maybe five out of a hundred, that say, I don't mind it. I actually find it interesting, and it, it's brick, but brick it's pretty. Most people do not like that color paint, and even, yeah. <laughs> So we were, I don't know if it's in there, but we really like to do the same colors as the Unitarian Church, the gray and white, very mm -hmm. traditional building colors. And I think it would be really beautiful. That looks nice. And a darker, a little darker gray body color will hide the, uh, the dirt that you get with a lighter color building. Yeah. So that's then, a good... And maybe some even, maybe some black little you know, Detail, details. There's so many details. There's so many details that would be nice to actually accentuate those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What maker are the windows you're using for the replacements? They're two over two. They're called Harvey. Harvey. Harvey's, Harvey's in the rear, yeah. yeah. Trying to maintain the, not have to mess with any of the exterior. Not only is there a lot of lead paint on it, but it's nice to keep the old woodwork and not have to replace it. And if you do new windows, it's pretty expensive when you start taking that apart. So you're you doing replacement. Replacement, just, yeah. yeah. So you just take. You take the sash stops out, out yep. sash out, and you tip the new one in and put your stops back. Right, yeah. Did you say you were you're rebuild, you're restoring some of the windows on the front? Or towards the front? Yeah, yeah, you already of, did. Oh, I see. A lot of them have been yeah. reglazed. There were a lot of yeah. cracked ones. Mm -hmm. um, you know, keeping the old glass as best we can, but a lot of it's cracked. Uh, new weights, we put in new weights mm -hmm. and cords. And mm -hmm. Are you using the historic preservation tax credit or on this one? So we will, for what we decide, for electrical and safety and, yeah. and uh, or the downtown. fire safety, yeah, uh -huh. whatever it is, but we could. There's a couple things we couldn't do. Yeah, there's a couple of the historic stuff that we could have done that before, but that's a good question. Just curious. Yeah. yeah a there's a federal okay. investment tax credit as well. I think we're doing that that's for the old retro. Have you safety. filed your application and everything? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we've worked with the woman who's from the state. Oh, that. Caitlin? Kate, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Caitlin Cochran. I, I worked for the state for 30 years, oh, okay. so that's... Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Corporate. Corporate. Yeah. That was Chris Cochran. You're right. <laughs> so you're thinking of Chris Cochran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to see you, right? Yeah, good to see you, too. Yeah. 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 I thought you would that last time. You're in there. <laughs> This, so this roof is, it looks like it's pitched. How, how are you putting it back on the roof? It would be, you know, it would be, can't, it would, the, roof, the front part would be higher than the back part. You know, in terms yeah. of foundation, in terms okay. of foundation, but you know, it's, those decks are done to, yes. pretty fine. So, so this door, you know, that one, that would, one be would be a door. And then there's a difference from this corner to about where the, threshold of that door would be of like a foot and a half. Okay. So we would bring it up to that level and you level it off. Yeah. Okay. And this is where the, we okay. would bump this out and put a spiral stair that went up. Okay. I'm kind of surprised they let you use the winder. Yeah. The spiral. Stair. Yeah. Well, there's a certain dimension it has to be yeah. for those kinds of things. They were really, really trying to work with us because they, yeah. they, not only to get out into the middle of uh, School Street, the expense to go under the heating system and put in the proper size feed line of just to get water into the building to run a sprinkler system would exceed like a year's worth of work on, you know, of carpentry. So it's Yeah, it'd be expensive. neat if they wanted people to hook up sprinklers. I mean, the city could let people know when they were tearing up stuff, putting the heating in, maybe put some kind of feed past the sidewalk, and then I think people would be much more able to do it. But if, you know, if you're not doing it as a partnership, then you pay for everything to get underneath. And I did that in a building already at on Elm Street, and it's really expensive. Would I mean, they require a four or six inch pipe? Four. 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 But, but you know, they could have that feed. Like when they're doing the work and they're under there at that time. Yeah, at least to the shutoff. That would be great. 
it's just something to think of for the future. I mean, this is the second time I've sort of gone through this, and I don't know why I, you know, you're just not, I, I didn't know in this building, but if they want buildings to be sprinklered, the city might think, okay, which, where are we going next to dig up the streets? How can we, if nothing, how can we make it easy? Because they're going. If nothing more, you could put a piece of six-inch PVC from there all the way inside the building, and then you could thread it through. It right. Future. That's all I'm saying. Right. They could just set it up, and then people. Sure. Same with the heating plant. Like this building would have been primed to set up with city heating. But it has three-quarter-inch pipe coming in, which is not a lot. You know what we're talking about—the feed for yes. the sprinkler system mm -hmm. is just too yeah. hugely expensive. But so that's been great, you know, Chris, and. Um, I can't remember the captain's name. We're working with us to get that. That's why they allowed that. So, as long as we meet their specs. There are other towns that actually let you have a, a landing. It's called the respite landing or whatever, because we have a ladder truck that's a fortune too in the city. Mm -hmm. Lewiston, other towns let you have outside the window. Yeah. A, a Some refuge old. landing, it's called. And, you know, we had pictures of that, and, but they really wanted something more elaborate here. In, but we have the same truck, maybe even a nicer one here for, for less people. Close. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything? Is there any additional? First of all, what is the the black lines coming down here? What is that? Oh, that I'm sorry. That was showing the the posts that we would put in to add the additional 15 square feet where we would land the spiral staircase. So they'll come out. We'd have to put in some 6 by 6 posts to land. Um, so to put in the spiral stair, we need to, we need to give enough um, space coming out of that doorway. Out of this doorway. Um, no, the upper one. The upper one. Yep. So we need to bump it out. So we can put the land, uh, we can land the stairs further out on that deck, that upper, upper deck. The deck itself isn't large enough to carry. It's not large enough. It's just right. new spiral staircase that we okay. need. So mm -hmm. it's, it's sort of a. I did that in there. Audra's office. She said, "You need to show me where those are going." So okay. I grabbed a sharpie and I'm sorry, it's not more elaborate. Some of this was done literally within like a 24-hour period. I, I like I drew my little spiral stairs and things like that to try and get this in so that we can get approval so that we can get bodies on the building. How far back do you have to return this railing? Does you have to have a return on it back right here? the upper railing when they you come out obviously the I think it would go all the way around the whole deck. All the way around the entire this entire deck up I above. Would assume so. Okay. This is six pitch six pitch roof, so it would almost be flat. So you'd have the same sure have to. spindle railing design as you're using here. Uh, yeah that would uh, it's that's the way I would like to do it. Yeah. Okay. Unless we some of this, one caveat to that is that some of this is in bid right now. We're trying to figure out what materials are affordable, um, what you know, what we can use, you know, what's too heavy to put up there, what's, what's what meets all the criteria that we need to build it, um, you know, and stay within a budget that that works. So. I'd love to hear suggestions if you say that you, know, you should do wood, you shouldn't do wood, you shouldn't do steel, you can't do steel. Um, you know, handrails have to look a certain way. But um, I propose doing the, the same as what we did for the deck. Essentially, you're not going to, you may change material, but you're not going to change the design. No, I don't, no. Materials is the one thing that I can't, we can't totally put our finger on because we're not fully sure what's affordable. Um, I mean, I have, we have things we'd love to do, but some of it is out of reach, so. so that's why there's not as much detail as there could possibly be. <laughs> but we'll try to carry that same look. Right. And we wouldn't want to mix, we don't mix too much. much. Yeah. The spiral stair would be metal, right? Yeah. And just for longevity makes the most sense and easy 
easier to fabricate. Any other changes, like to the front of the building? I noticed that you have that picture of the, anything that you can throw in the application. For instance, like your your front railings here. Any proposal to change those, or is that just going to stay? We're just going to try to restore everything. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, we don't have any designs on changing anything. A lot of that was because of the you know the historical people we were working with, so they didn't want us to change anything, anything front facing. Nothing that you can see from the street. But it doesn't need it. It's all actually in pretty good shape out front. Okay. No, I was talking more specifically about the little, little iron railings that are tucked Try underneath to keep there. Oh, They're not I had, 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 had thoughts on that. Unless insurance says we have to. <laughs> no, I mean, that's something. I, it was a more of a design thing rather than a yeah. structural, structural or a safety yeah, no, or. Okay. No. How many units proposed for the building? So six total. Yeah. One, one or two on each floor in the front. Uh, yeah, exactly. Two, there's two, and then uh, three with this efficiency one, and then one up with the attic. So two, three, one, going up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then in the back section. No, well that, that is, includes the back that section. That includes okay. the back. So we didn't we didn't really change yep. too much of the. I mean, we changed the footprint in some ways upstairs, but downstairs nothing to speak of. I mean, we don't know what to make the yeah. apartment nicer. We didn't change it. We, we just did. took the walls down. Yeah. Okay. We just tried to open up the bottom of everything and we straightened, straight straightened the everything. Like, even knowing we're going to have to have this roof deck, we put, we put framing members right down to the foundation. Yeah, it's all so prepared it's inside for all the it's, exterior. It's prepared roof. for the exterior roof, so when we open that, Shed roof up in that of you know where that where that deck is going. We mm -hmm. prepare the inside for the load. Right. It's work like that. We did all the energy efficiency upgrades while we were in there. Spray foam, electric. Spray foam, dense totally. dense pack cellulose, or is it all spray I mean, foam? All the walls are spray foam. The basement's been spray foamed. Um, there will be some dense pack in the attic space or the. Um, crawl space above that rear, that rear section. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, it's very cool. I mean, there's little things that you know you sit here just like we wanted to do underground electric from the. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, we went back and forth. This literally was days of Chris working. He knows electrical really well. And, they're out of code right now. That's, you know, everything in this building There's is out of code. There's a code violation of the feed coming into the building. It's attached, and it's not where it should be. So, you know, that has to change. Because then we would have to sink a new pole. We would have to do all Right here, stuff. you mean? Yeah, it uh, needs to be eight feet or more above any um, horizontal surface. And that's like so about five and a half feet. So it has to be rectified, and then, but it's our expense to rectify that. So, Obviously, you know, I propose to go underground and to get underground. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's incredible. Um, so yeah. we're going to leave it the way it is. But we'll we have to rectify raise it. the code. Probably. We have to raise it. But we're trying to make it pretty. You know, who wants to see power lines on the front of a nice building like that? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Just it's just not going to put a new pole in, to talk to the social services people. Oh, yeah. The shared pole with social services. <laughs> it just, Where's the closest pole that you should come from for underground? Well, there is a pole in the front of the building, but it's from 1930 or somewhere around there. It needs to get replaced. Uh, it has too many wires on it, so they can't really tap into that. Can't go underground because the Social Security building has already got a four-inch steel conduit there, and we don't want to go near that. So we'd have to actually put our own pole in, and doing that, we'd have to take out a tree. And so we put it on our own pole, and then That's everybody wants to tap onto the pole, and then they charge you for, you know, um, changing the wire to the new pole. And but it's an example of just where we would like to do it right, but the costs are yes. phenomenal to oh, do yeah. it right, given the circumstance. And we've run through that with all the scenarios that we've tried to oh, it's bad. Every time we've tried to say, this is the right, really the place to do it. Mm -hmm. And we've tried to do it as much as we can. 
so far you just, I just can't walk in front of it. Is there any lighting added back here that wasn't yeah. there before? Yeah, by the door. There's, there's by this a, door? Yeah, and also by the door above on the deck. Mm -hmm. the light. Oh, right, on that. Yes, right. Yeah, we did add that. Yeah, that, that was. Uh, is there light outside the tomb? That was already there. We right. left that. So, existing lighting that was in use, we left if it met code. Um, anything new? Uh, so, outside the door of that. The upper door, we did add. You can see a little light right, up right here, there. Right there. Yep. And I landed it on a just just a little wall mounted. Yeah, I haven't actually picked any fixtures yet. Yeah. Probably match everything that's already there, uh, unless there's anything we can't do. It would be tasteful. Um, I don't know where the other one. Is. I don't know where the other one. Is. <laughs> and then we did put security. There's security lighting on there. We added one um, so that you can see those stairs at the back part. Right now, there's just a wire whip setting that we haven't actually added the light. Do you get any idea of the shrubs? Is that part of this movie? That's right. Okay, good. thanks. Nice to meet you, by the way. Um, yeah, so we'll figure that out. Similar building across the street. Oh, from it might have been so built by the same architect. Oh, huh? Steve, uh -huh. that one, it's, I think it's, is it the Guerre's? The Guerre's. It looks really similar. Uh -huh. similar. Mm -hmm. You know, it's white and black. Yes. It really looks. Same period. Uh -huh. There's a lot of that. I used to do it down. There's a lot of that <coughs> same feature. A lot of design yeah. features yeah. that, that are included in those buildings. Yeah. It is very nice. I mean, when you, mm -hmm. when you finish this and paint it, it's get it, you know, get that contrast between the trim body color and maybe some accent color. Uh, it'll look really, really nice. Now, are you keeping the storm windows on the front of the building? Yeah. Yeah. Design we want. You just at some point you got to just stop telling money and try to just get some tenants in advance. You get to a point you need to win the lottery to do what you'd really like. It'd be great to take those off. <laughs> There's a building on Main Street across from the middle school that's gray. It has a similar similar windows that are arced at the top and they have they're really beautiful. They have like this I think it's like a stained glass one. Do you know the one I'm talking about? Love to do that kind of thing, but you know it's Is that the Wing Mansion? I they think call it. Is that what it's called? It's our, I think it's apartments. Yes, I know they're right. there. It's really it's beautiful. Down the yeah, it's right up there. Yeah. yeah, it's right up there. So Love that. Nice. Very cool. But those are hidden by those uh, ugly storms. I just threw in that the security lighting and the fixtures beside the doorways at the rear of the building. You know, you can add fixtures there, design of which just match the, the, the other existing fixtures on the building. I'm just trying to cover the bases of anything yeah, you may, the, the, may want to add or change or there yeah, to ask about lighting. Yeah, there's simple Any other? Did you have anything you wanted to add? Sent you? No, I. Don't okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were involved in the deck deck planning or any of that I mean, other I'm stuff. Okay. Okay. Minim very minimally involved, but it felt like it was. 
Any other comments, questions, suggestions? No. no. Okay, I'll go through the criteria for the what you're proposing. Preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping none proposed in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, acceptable. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. All in favor of the application is proposed. Raise your hand. Sign above my name in the lower left hand corner there. Thanks a lot. You want to see Go ahead. Yeah. 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 No, you can keep them. We don't. It's a good example. Yeah. 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 Outside of Ron's business store, you know, they had us, you know, they had us match the roof. And then we have a handicap match. Had us match the roof to the building. Uh -huh. it looks, it's, it's totally, it's totally like non-functional. All the snow and ice and everything drips right into the handicap ramp for his oh, chiropractic wow. business. Uh -huh. So now I'm really, you know, interested in making sure things just work. Yeah, sure. So, you know, yeah, the uh, any exterior stairs or ramps, it's helpful to have it just in a place where it's not going to dump on it or some kind of cover or at least uh, a metal grid we use metal we'll floor use metal system grid. so that there's yeah. for that. Yeah. And we've done that everywhere. Yeah. 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 Longevity, those galvanized treads. Galvanized, that's what we use. That's what we use. That's what we use. Yeah. 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 Thank you all for your time. Either. I know. Okay. Saves a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Good luck with your continuing project. Yeah. <laughs> we do need that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We have the minutes from May the 21st. I'll move them. Do I hear a second? I second it. <laughs> All in favor of the minutes from the 21st, raise your hand. Oh, minutes are approved. And our other business, do you want to fill us in on the... Uh, yeah, I, uh, I will fill you in. It's the Historic Preservation Conference is really interesting. The speaker, a lady named Gar Williams, and she just put a book out, A Thousand Towns. She's been in a thousand small towns singing. And she's, she, during her talk, she talked and then she'd sing a song. And then she oh, that's talk. great. Yeah, she, she was great. I couldn't go, yeah. yeah and uh, a, a couple of the concepts she, she talked about small communities is where history joins with the present. I think that is a concept for looking at Montpelier, you know, and saying, okay, you know, we're an active, real town in the present but we're also respecting our history. The other concept I really like is honoring a town's past uh, keeps it vital for the future. And I think that both those things kind of exemplify Montpelier as you know, being a vital community because of its historic character uh, and not sort of in spite of it. So it's, it, was, it, was a, it was a good conference. Yeah, the other thing, uh, I will when we have, a, I think, a better draft, I'll send everybody a draft of the new regs. I've got some stuff. I want to review it, but I'll send it out. I'll probably send it to you, Meredith, and you can send it out. And uh, June 26 is the next Historic Preservation Commission meeting. And uh, we had trouble for two meetings getting a quorum. Annoyed me some. Uh, but, uh, uh, 
you guys are all welcome it's at uh, 6 30 and usually we have it up in the managers conference from the little conference room on the what was the date again uh june 26 at 6 30. and on uh july 12th we're having a a public hearing and meeting and it's going to be a kind of an informal thing where people can go around and talk and then we'll have a formal presentation that's july 12th it'll be i think 4 30 to 7 and it'll be up in the memorial room okay. so you're all invited to that it's been it's been going slower than i would have liked but well it's happening <laughs> it's happening <laughs> that's yeah. good I need you to look at it and see, uh, uh, you know, does this work? I, 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 I'll, I took the application for the 27 uh, School Street. I'm going to take it to the, is that, I think that's as, you know, sort of an extensive a thing as we usually look at uh, in downtown. I mean, most of what we look at is signs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to probably call you Stephen if anybody has an idea I want to to help with the regs I want to do a list of types of applications so our regs address well address the most common kinds of applications that we have you know I mean it's uh, uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff on new construction which happens every five years you know we don't and it's actually a lot easier to do the criteria for new construction than it is for rehabilitation. So, any uh, projects that you think of, just uh, get them to me. I'm going to go through the agendas on the website and pick out projects. Just try to get an idea of how many projects do we get that are as extensive as the one on School Street that we looked at. You know, most of the ones are pretty, I mean, I think of the projects that, uh, what's the name of the outfit that's done, doing all the buildings on Berry Street. Uh, oh, the house, housing? Yeah, the house. Down, hu that's down, down Street. Down Street it's Housing. Still called but that, yeah. I think of those, they're some of our more extensive mm -hmm. projects. Uh, you know, windows in downtown, uh, we've probably done pretty well done with those, I, I don't know. But I want to sort of get, if any of you have any ideas, if you send me an email or something about categories of projects so that the, I want to make sure the rigs kind of fit in there. It's, the whole thing is a pain, actually. <laughs> well, uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's... No, I understand. For, for my, my, I, I think, I mean, they've been around for a long time, and I think they need, you know, they need some tweaking and stuff like that. But people are convinced that design review is a terrible burden. Right. Some people, a few people, are convinced that design review is a terrible burden. Now look at what we went through tonight. Yeah. We went through a really extensive project, you know, that's doing a lot of work on the building. And, you know, it's, it, it, it passed and this, you know, the sign stuff. A lot of it has to do with the sensitivity of the owner and yep. the, whoever's the contractor. I, I, I to, uh, you know. To if make whatever the changes are compatible, and, and, and you know, and, you know the, the, it feels the, like they went after it a little willy nilly, though, that they just sort of started in on that thing. And there's like yeah, stair oh, yeah. pressure treated staircases all over the place, and like that bump out, like they didn't have a thoughtful plan when they started. Yeah, that, that, I understand that that sometimes happens, but that, it would have been that, nice that makes it that makes it hard. Well, the initial yeah. plan was just to sort of repair what was there, and it just kept going, right. Deeper and deeper and deeper, yeah. right. and actually, had they had they de partly demolished and rebuilt exactly what was there, yeah, it, so there's really no change. Uh, yeah. you know, if they're technically, if they're making and some improvements it, to it, it by it, changing the design, tweaking it so it fits the building better than what was there that was done, you know, 50 years ago or whatever. Uh, Technically, right. they, you know, they would have to come before the committee and, you know, if, if, if with an application. 
but if they get by Caitlin for the tax credits. Yeah, so that's they. She has reviewed the, uh, the stairs. I, 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 was a little, I, I was a little unsure about that. I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I. Well, they are in the back, but. Well, I think how picky anyway, do they get? Problem well, with they, that. Caitlin can be pretty fussy, yeah. but. Um, but it's not. If it's not visible from the street, and you know, yeah, it's, I, it's not that big. It's actually more visible from East State Street than it is from. Yeah. Oh, okay. When you're coming down the street, when you're you know above 32 and between 32 and 28, you see straight through. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Well. But it's a little ways most away. Most people are looking out of the side window when they're driving. Yeah. So. yeah true. True. That's dangerous on East State Street. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for. This. And with that, I'll move adjournment. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned.